So these smart blinds behind me that are opening up were sent to me from a company called Smart Wings, which you probably heard of, and they work on HomeKit over Thread. But the ones over here and the ones in my playroom downstairs were actually made from Smart Wings, but they were purchased on Amazon. And just like the ones I got directly from the company, you can get them custom made to a certain size. They have a lot of different colors and materials to pick from, but is it worth getting the matter ones, which are a little bit more expensive? And is it better to go directly to the company or should you go to your favorite retailer, Amazon, and buy them there? Today, I'm gonna to tell you my experience with both and let you know what I think about them. Let's jump into the video. First, let's talk about the price. Now, I did buy ones on the direct website and I've also bought them on Amazon and basically they're the same price. Now, Amazon does run promo codes occasionally and you might have a coupon code for the direct website. So if you do have one of those, make sure you compare the prices just to make sure you get the pr best pricing available. Also, don't pay attention to initial price. Both the direct website and Amazon gives you like this teaser price. Once you go in there and select your features and your material and everything that you want with it, then you'll get the final price and then you can compare apples to apples from the direct website to Amazon. I do highly recommend, um, and I've did this myself, is to buy the swatches which are available on both the websites and Amazon. That way you can see the fabric, you can see the colors, you can see the material that you're going to be able to pick from because there's so many choices and options and there's a bunch of different swatches you can buy. Also, you can buy the 100% blackout, which you can see here. They have ones for the zebra shades and they have ones that are for the ones that let a little bit light in. So just buy the correct one. A few bucks that you pay for these are definitely well, well worth it. And so definitely make sure you get these swatches before you make your final decision. I also recommend that you get the solar panel. I'll talk more about the solar panel in just a moment. And then also mount the, the motor on the right hand side of your blinds. That way when you hook up the solar panel, it's more of a direct line. Um, if you mount it on the left, there's a little bit, uh, it's pointed in the wrong direction and it's just a little awkward. So definitely mount it on the right. Now back to the solar panel. I found it to be very, very long and because of the grids that were inside my window, I could not mount this the way that I really wanted to, which is horizontally. I could probably jerry-rig something, but I also found that when I mounted it horizontally, I found that battery life was worse. When I mounted it vertically, I got more sunlight throughout more of the day. Even though that's more of an eyesore, I was able to kind of hide the vertical solar panel just by adjusting the height of the top of the blind itself so it wouldn't see it from the inside obviously you're going to see the solar panel from the outside the window but i'm not the one who's usually looking at those outside windows but it is a huge eyesore and i wish it was a very low power solar panel i don't think it is because of the size of it so keep in mind that it's a very long narrow solar panel and you're gonna have to fit it on your window somehow you also have to order at least one remote. So no matter how many windows that you have, you have to have at least one remote. So you can set the upper limits and lower limits, which is all programmed through the remote itself. You also have to pick what type of motor you want. Obviously, if you're watching this channel, you probably want either an Apple Home one or spend a little extra money and get the Matter one which I got both, and I gotta say, the Apple Home one, if you know you're gonna stay within Apple Home, it's a much more reliable motor um, with very little to um, no responses. It does run over thread, which is awesome. Now with the Matter one, it's very reliable, but not as reliable as the Apple Home one, especially when you start adding it to additional platforms. So. You can add it to Alexa and Google Home and smart things like I've done. The more platforms that you add it to, 
less reliable is in all the platforms. So if you're just using a Matter one in Apple Home, you should be okay. It's not as reliable as the Apple Home one, plus you're paying a few extra dollars for it, but at least you can change platforms in the future if you really want to. I would probably buy that one. Hopefully Matter will get better in the near future. But if you're living in today, definitely if you're an Apple Home user, get the Apple Home brand one because it's just a lot more reliable you save a little bit of money now as far as battery life goes in the summer and the spring i've never had any of the issues it's topped out in the 90s percent but now that we're in the winter about two months into winter my lowest percentage is at 23 percent, and that's just opening up one time per day and closing one time per day. Obviously, that's going to vary depending on your sunlight and your direction where your solar panel is mounted. And there's a lot of different factors involved. But it looks like I'm only going to have to charge that one probably in another month or so before we start getting more solar powered sunlight, if that makes sense, um, where the solar panels are going to generate more power. But all the other ones, they're all in the 40 and 50%. I just have one that's at 23%. Hopefully, I won't have to charge it up, but it does fairly well with these larger solar panels. I just wish they were smaller and more effective. So definitely keep that in mind. If your window does not get a lot of sunlight during the day, you might have to manually charge this up every few months or so, depending on how often you use it. And when it came to insulation, this is by far the easiest insulation I've ever had in any roller blinds, even easier than the more expensive ones, which by the way, these are not the cheapest and they're not the most expensive, but they are by far my favorite smart roller blinds to date. They are affordable. They look great. They function well, and I highly recommend them. I hope this video was helpful. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.